All right, here we go. Uh, Jamar Chase, folks. I mean, we are getting real, real worried about this man out here. And uh, yesterday in practice, he got the catching down. We had this one play here where he's just kind of, you know, not going against anybody. He's going against the coach, and we're going to get to this in a second. But he catches this kind of pass back of the end zone. Perfect. It's just a little five-yard in route at the back of the end zone. Nothing big, nothing great, but he does catch the ball. So thank goodness Jamar Chase is finally back catching these balls. Uh, has to make it kind of work in game scenarios as well. We've been seeing him catch great balls in practice. But uh, every time the game comes up, the man has got butterfingers on top of butterfingers. But the biggest takeaway, in my opinion, from this video is not him catching the ball. It's that he's not getting any separation against the defensive back's coach. Against the coach right here. I don't know what coach this is. Maybe it's a wide receiver coach. But the coach is all over this man. And we've been saying he hasn't been getting any separation at all. And you can't even beat a coach? You got a coach running stride for stride with you? Now, granted, I'm sure the coach knows what this play is, so he can kind of be a little bit more aggressive in guarding him. I get it. But still, at the end of the day, I mean, that's the biggest takeaway we've heard from Jamar Chase, folks. That was Jamar Chase's biggest quality heading into the draft and heading into the NFL. This is why he was the first wide receiver taken in this year's draft, because of his ability to separate from the defenders. And now he's not even separating against any defenders, and he's barely separating against any coach out here. So, I mean, I, I know y'all want to root for Jamar Chase. I'm trying to root for Jamar Chase. I would love to see Jamar Chase doing what he did at LSU in college in the NFL system. I'm all about seeing greatness elevate and getting it done and being absolutely spectacular. This is why we changed up the set to celebrate some of you know the great elites in the game. And Jamar Chase is not getting any separation here, folks. So, I got to be a little nervous and a little wary heading into the season with Jamar Chase, especially with Joe Burrow. I mean, his second year coming off an injury, so he may not be 100% on the mark here. So, Jamar Chase is going to have to kind of elevate his game even more than what he was already planning on doing here, elevating his game from the college to the NFL standard. And he's not really doing that so far either. And now we need it even more because we don't really know what's going to be going on with Joe Burrow here this season or really just the overall offense and the offensive line here so Jamar Chase is really gonna have to get it done and be a huge factor here for the offense and for Joe Burrow you know if he's getting rid of the ball quickly Jamar Chase needs to get open quickly uh, if the offensive line is not holding or whatever the scenario is we just need Jamar Chase to be a little bit better now we'll see what he can do in preseason game number three we're not totally you know off of Jamar Chase but we are bigly off of him I think we're like holding like 10% stock in Jamar Chase at the moment but we'll give him preseason game number three to see if we're buying more stock or if we're going to sell our last 10% because it's just I haven't been seeing anything good We haven't really been seeing anything good The only time we've been seeing good things about Jamar Chase Is in kind of this type of practice When he's not going against a full live defense He's doing everything great when it's just him alone He caught this ball Good job catching it No real separation though Maybe, maybe the defender bites on that second double move, that double kind of pump at the at the kind of top of his route here. Like we said, maybe this coach knew what the play was. It's going to be the inside ball. I'm sure he did, but still at the end of the day, it's a little concerning, folks. A little concerning, and we've only been seeing a little concerning things on Jamar Chase, and these little concerning things are starting to balloon into big, big potential problems. So preseason game number three, Maybe he doesn't even play because, you know, we, we're not even sure if all the starters are going to be playing. We just told y'all Andy Dalton is not starting preseason game number three, and he's the week one starter. So maybe the Bengals go with the same kind of strategy, resting all their starters, and now we're getting Jamar Chase cold as cold can be heading into week one. Whatever the spread is for the Bengals game, I'm taking the opposite. I'm taking whoever the Bengals are going against, folks. I can't bet on this Bengals team come week one. Not at all. Not even close. Especially if Jamar Chase is not playing preseason game number three. So, we're not trying to freak out on him, but it's getting hard not to not freak out on him. So...
That's where we're at with Jamar Chase, folks.